Greetings and salutations, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here with No Odd Test for Friday, August the 19th. And this is the Lizard Subsoiler Pack by Nico Pixes. 7.32 megabytes to download. <clears throat> two and three slots uh, for it's a pack of two subsoilers. We'll find those under subsoilers, tools, subsoilers. And here is two of them, the uh, combinable 300 and the combinable 600, uh, 10,500 for that one, two slots, and for the uh, six meter one, so this is three and four, and this is six meters, three slots, so very low on the slot count. Uh, let's look at the combine three, combinable 300. So we have the uh, three meter version, and for an extra $1,250, you get the four meter version. Now, this one says 100 horsepower and 140 for the larger one. However, I think there's um, a little bit of a mistake somewhere. Um, the, the the three meter one, mm, not, not so easy to pull. Um, I would recommend 140 horsepower for either version might as well go for the bigger one. Main color, you have all these lovely colors to choose from. Even even brown, downtown brown. Hang around brown, as the car dealers would call it. Um, so, uh, and the 600 is basically just straight up a six meter subsoiler, 200 horsepower required, and all the, uh, all those colors included as well it has a uh, oh and they do have a three-point link on the back which we're going to check out a little bit later and wheels hmm. so there's the wheels there not sure what the wheels are for exactly uh the little one does not have that uh so let's hop into this one here and um, let our help window on. There we go. Now, uh, let's start it up. And fold. So this one has the fold and unfold. Like so. L1 and unfold. X. Just like that. Now lowered... Oh, I see. It's kind of when the, lo the the wheels are on the ground once it's low, I guess. For mm, depth control, I guess. I'm not sure. There is no other depth control. Uh, so we do have... It is basically a plow. Uh, you do have allow the create fields, as you can see here. I can create fields in my parking lot. Um, and that's about it, really. There isn't really any other um, um, things to do. So we're, we're going to check out the uh, three-point link attachment on the back there in a moment. However, uh, let's see here. Here we got the Bueller 100 horsepower with the smallest uh, subsoiler and it can only manage manage four miles per hour it's supposed to go seven miles per hour that is the operating speed forgot to mention so yeah a little struggling there a little bit uh, then we have this Massey 140 horsepower and, or 145 I think it's at so if we hire a worker there that is the slightly wider four meter and as you can see, seven miles per hour, no problem. So I'm thinking, um, let's let's stop this for a second. Let's unhook that. Let's meander over to where is he? Meander over to uh, this this one over here, and drop that off. Get him over here. hook him up to this one there we go and as expected seven miles per hour no problem alright 
Uh, last one testing. This is the big one. This uh, is a Fint, a 209 horsepower. We'll drop that down. Let him go. And there you go, seven miles per hour at six meters wide. Very nice animation. Works quite well. The, the workers seem to like it. We pan back here. Very nice shot of that. Um, yeah, they do the turnaround and so forth very nicely. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a few three-point link um, accessories and see um, see if uh, any of them actually work with this stuff. Uh, usually, um, usually when I see a three-point link on the back of a subsoiler, which would be a plow kind of situation, I'm thinking a cedar or planter of this width that is not a direct drill, right? So you have the subsolar in front then you have a direct drill um, or a non-direct drill cedar or planter so that you can do it all at one time so you can make um, a standard um, cedar or planter into a direct drill so we'll see if that works all right so here we go um, as you can see I have a Limpkin uh, this this is the Limpkin Azurut 9. It is not a direct drill. It is a planter of 6 meters wide, uh, 9 miles per hour. So the 9 miles per hour is not going to be um, a factor when um, the subsoil is limited to 7 miles per hour. However, as you can see, I have been planting. I, I, I disc... I... Mm, Un <laughs> unconnected the cedar for a moment here just to check to see what's going on and yes so um, let's drop the planter for a second and drive forward so as you can see I am subsoiling plowing etc if I back up I can hook up to the planter and it is in the raised position right now even though it looks like it's down if you'd see the top left so you have to lower it and it's kind of weird because it's going to do that but now it's lowered and if I turn it on so if I don't turn it on and I go forward it's a little heavy as you can see you'll probably need a little bit more horsepower but as you can see it's doing nothing now turn it on and I am planting so Let's hire a worker. A worker will even use it. Look at that. So definitely going to need a little bit more horsepower, maybe a weight on the front. Uh, the setup is quite heavy. However, you know how now have the ability to um, convert basically a non-direct drill into a direct drill type setup here like this. And lift it up. He lifted it up. So you can see it's quite heavy. The little bit, little bit nose light on the nose. Um, however, it does work. Um, I don't know if they've changed something or what has changed. But um, this one, it works. So there you go. That's the Lizard Subsolar Pack by Nico Pixes. 7.32 megabytes to download, two slots, and three slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, there you go. It's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.